Good morning. Hello. Look what's happening. Look what's happening. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday. Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue, and we are here in Growing Zone 6B. And Monday morning, when I went out to feed the animals, I was greeted with the most fantastic surprise. Come meet Lyric. This is what's happening. And Piper is up here, keeping an eye. Good girl, good auntie. Hey, baby. She looks so confused and concerned. We're licking the baby off. Careful, mommy. She's just on the towel. Good mama, good mama. Good mama. Little tail wagon. Taking good care of her. Yeah. You are good, mommy. You are good, mommy. You nibbling that umbilical down, huh? She snipped it off on oh. her own. Good girl. Yeah. Hey. Yes. 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 Okay. I, I believe it's a little girl. I believe this is a little girl. You got it. Good baby, good baby. Look at you, so tall and so strong. We're gonna need something to keep this baby warm. Hi, yes, sweetheart. The little tail. Look what you did, mommy. Uh huh. So we haven't nursed yet, but mom's still doing some pawing. Cleaning her up. You're doing a really good job, Mommy. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday, little Lyric. Hey. I think we have a girl. Ma'am, what are you look? doing? Can I look? Yes, we have a little girl. A little girl. Hello. Yes, Mom. Hey. No. Not yet? Not yet. You're not ready for that yet, huh? I think this just happened. Oh, this happened within the past hour. Yeah. I don't know if we're nursing or if we're just nuzzling. Everybody looks pretty content and sleepy. Alright, we're going to let these folks rest for a little while. See how we do. Okay. We're doing good. We figured out how to nurse. Good baby. Good mama. So good mommy. Yes. Good mommy. Day two. We seem to be doing okay. So we're doing okay. We're doing some nursing. Um, I'm trying to keep an eye on her to make sure that she's actually latching on. Um, but Mama is super attentive. She's just been great with her. Licking her all over, loving her up. We made her a little sweater out of a sock. Keep her warm. And Auntie over here. Auntie over here, how are you, Pipes? Has been super jealous. We've bonked the baby a couple of times. Oh. But we'll get into our groove. We'll get into our groove, won't we, sweetheart? Yeah. Hello, love. 
Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Seven minutes. Garden. Four. So we have done a little bit of rearranging. Um, remember how we had all those raised beds in the back and some rings on the side? Well, we have moved them into the garden proper. I put in some red wing onion starts. They got a little beat up in the rain, um, but they're all upright. As opposed to about a third of these walla wallas, they keep falling over. They keep falling down and I keep uprighting them. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in here yet. We put in pumpkins last year when this was on the side, um, but I'll have to make a decision. We'll see what we got. This is, oh my goodness, so much of this ground ivy. I put leeks in here. Uh, pokey back in. Pokey back in. Okay. <laughs> they really weren't in great shape when I put them in. Um, so I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope on that. And then there's the hops. This girl, she doing a climb. What I think we're gonna do this year, because this, this trellis is just a little too short, I think what we're gonna do is run some lines from the top of the trellis over to the greenhouse. Just some straight lines and see if we can let the hops climb on that once it finishes on the trellis. Yet one more random act of onion. Um, so these two beds were in the back and they were all full of volunteers last year. So we'll see what happens this year. And basically that's what's going on. Another week or so I will put beans in. I just want to get us past our last frost date first. Hey, bales are doing all right. Check this out. These beautiful shaggy ink caps. And today is another conditioning day. So we'll roll through here and give it a sprinkle. Um, it's gonna rain, so that'll wash it all in. All right, the herb pot is doing fabulous. All this yarrow, a little bit of anise hyssop. This, I'm still not 100% sure what it is. It smells good and green. Um, this may be, this may be hummingbird mint. Um, I really don't remember. And then a little fever few here. Got some peas coming up here and there. I'm so pleased. All this rain over the last few days. Good morning, strawberries. Good morning, garlic. Looks like the bee balm is coming back. And there's a little bit of echinacea in here as well. Kind of mixed in. I may have to get in there and fuss about. Onion, maybe? Chard is still doing good. This corner here I planted some fava beans back in November and it looks like I've got a whole bunch of them. Definitely going to add fava beans in on my list for things to do in November again along with my garlic. Herb patch is doing great. Oh baby, I've got a fledgling. Little fledgling in the garden. Hey baby. Baby. So our first wine caps are in. I'm gonna pull them probably tomorrow or this evening. They look really good. Spring is officially here, y'all. Let's go over to this middle and see how we're coming along here. Oh, ferns are coming up. This beautiful May apple. And it looks like there might be a second one. I have a couple more of these on the way, actually, from Richter's. 
Bloodroot is doing fantastic. Everything out here is starting to pop up. All these beautiful plants that we put in for Alan and Katie's wedding. They're coming back. Coming back. This is that beautiful trillium. I just can't get enough of this. If there are more at the farm store, I'll probably pick them up. And that is our blue coha. She's settling in lovely. Yeah, this is okay, y'all. The berry bushes are doing good. Even this little boysenberry is popping up. Come on, baby, you got this. You got this. Golden raspberries. These are the berries that were here when we got here. I feel like there may be an Egyptian mulberry coming up in here. I remember planting one um, right after we moved in. In fact, this, this may or may not be an Egyptian mulberry. We'll see, we'll keep an eye on it. This is garlic mustard and the chickens love it. Honeyberries are doing well. Still need to decide on something to put into the ring next to it. Uh, let's see about these sunflowers. There are tons of them coming up. There's one. Hello, Mia. Here's one. Here's one. Is there? Oh, I hear a whole bunch. So they are definitely coming in. Yay, sunflowers. I believe that these are kale, the kale that I planted. This bed I have reserved uh, for a little bit of cannabis. And let's see what's going on here. This is looking good. These are those berries that Bill and I pruned just a couple of weeks ago, a couple weekends ago. It's a little bleeding heart back in here that I found the other day. I'm gonna pull some of this garlic mustard for the chickens. Got this nice big pile. Let's see what the birds think about it. What have I got? What have I got? Chick, 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 chickens. Come on, come on, come on. Hello, bird friends. I brought you greens. There you go. So this garlic mustard is currently a high value treat. In a few months, they'll be completely sick of it. This goat is so over it. Piper. Hey, baby. What do you think of all of this business? Hi, babies. Hi, babies. You're such a good, attentive mama. So that's Mailer's Landing this week. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm glad you were here for the surprise babies part of this. And we will catch you up soon. Take care. Oh, it's such a